Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video about my first impressions of a foundation that I've been wanting to try for a long time. It's the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. Um, foundations are something I usually like to splurge on and like to go to the counter and get color matched and all that stuff, so I really don't tend to try too many drugstore products. But this one is raved about a lot, so I'm going to give it a go. So let's get started. I went ahead and picked up the shade this is Natural Buff. Yes, Natural Buff. Um, let's find out if that's the shade for me. I hope it is because these little things um, were sealed when I bought them. And uh, yesterday I did a little test on the back of my hand. I think it's going to work, but let's find out. So that's how much product I'm going to start with. Let's see. Let's just dab it on. And already I know that wasn't enough product. So let's go back in with a little bit more. Let's see. Dot, dot. Dot. Well, I really, it's looking like it might be a little dark for me, but let's see. Once we blend it in. I'm going to blend all this in with a Sephora foundation brush, and let's just go right for it. Alright, so, pretty good coverage, although I'm not sold yet on the color being for me. There was one shade lighter than this. Let me work down my neck. It's blending quite nicely. I like that. I have a lot of redness from years of acne and all whatnot. So, I can get my hair out of my face. I like to really blend up into the hairline. So the foundation doesn't feel like it's stopping. Alright, let's check this on my smaller mirror. It's pretty good coverage. I didn't use that much. I might go in with a smidge more. So you can see I've been working in really tiny amounts. So I'm going to go in with about that much more. It's supposed to be mattifying. Oh, it's supposed to be 24 hours. So maybe I'll pop back in later and give you an update on how this actually goes. So I'm just going to go in with layer number two, really working all that in. Run this on my nose. I really don't like that there, you know, obviously at the drugstore there's no one there to color match you, which is why I tend to not gear myself towards drugstore foundation specifically. Alright, so this is all pretty well blended. So as you can see, I think, now that it's blended, I think it's actually the shade might work for me. It blended really nice. It didn't take too much. It's definitely matte. That's def There's no shine going on whatsoever. Oh, I like it. I'm curious to see if it really lives up to the uh, 24 hour label on here. We'll have to see about that. Well, now that I've got that on, I might as well continue. So, we're going to go in and we're going to put my MAC Pro Longwear. Since I'm committing to a 24 hour foundation, I might as well commit to my Longwear concealer while I'm at it. And we're going to go in with my trusty beauty blender. The best tool anybody can ever invest in. Beauty Blender. Alrighty. So that's concealer and the foundation. The, those two worked really well together. I'm very happy with the flow of these two. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is the right shade for me. We'll see. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Uh, again, matte and poreless. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go on my Real Techniques powder brush. One thing I'm not crazy about, there's a lot of excess with this product. And I'm just going to go in and dab, not pull, but dab my powder. There we go. And then I'm going to 
going to go in with my Laura Mercier Brightening Under Eye Powder. Just a little bit because I didn't get much sleep last night and I think I could use a little bit of a boost. Just going to dab that underneath and it sets it everything quite nicely and looks good. I'll go in with my bronzer, my trusty NARS Laguna, my Real Techniques Contour Brush. A little bit on the nose. Alright, then I think today I'm just going to do a teeny bit of the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. So I'm going to just smile and just blot that on my cheeks, pulling out. And it's just a very subtle pinky shade. I think it's going to be a really nice spring shade. A little bit down my nose and on my cheeks. So see, very pretty, subtle pink. Very nice. I really like that. Alright, and then that's, let's see, let's go into brows. And let's just come through these. using my Anastasia Brow Duo. Alright, and let's set that with my Clear Brow Gel. Again, Anastasia, Anastasia, however you like to say it. Let's see. NARS Eyeshadow Primer. The very, very best stuff if you, like me, have oily skin and especially oily eyelids. And nothing likes Tuesday. Alright, and then I think today I'm going to be doing a really soft brown eye. I think I'm going to go in with MAC Patina. And let's go ahead with a MAC 217. And this is a really sh easy, easy, easy shade to just slap on there. Okay. And then I'm going to blend that out a little bit. There we go. Nothing too special there. Alright. And then I'm going to go in with my NARS nude liner and pop that underneath, uh, sorry, not underneath, on my waterline. And then I'm going to take Hustle. By Urban Decay, so one of their 24/7 glide-ons, and I'm gonna take this underneath the lash line. And then I'm going to blend that out with a Mac pencil brush, a 219. Alright, and that is the eyeliner blended out. And I think I'm going to take that also on the top. And with that same pencil brush, I'm going to blend that out. Just a little to make it a little softer. Okay, last step, we're going to curl. And then we're going to go in with... Georgie Armani. All right, and then I think today I'm going to be adventurous and do a red lip combo. This is my Merle Norman lip pencil in the shade Wild Ginger. What I like about this product is on one end you have the liner and on the other end you have the lip product but right now we're just going to use the liner all 
Alright, so you can see I lined and then I filled in. And then, we're going to use the Kat Von D. Uh, what is this called? Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is the shade Outlaw. Very bright red. Ooh, you can see how bright that is. Let's do a little swatch. That is bright. So, we're going to go in and put that over top. going to blot a little bit of that off. Alright, so that is my first impression plus my full face after um, the L'Oreal Pro Matte. Um, I, I, I can just say in like the extra 10 minutes that I've been doing my makeup, the foundation has really set and absorbed nicely into my skin. I really like that. Oh wow. You know sometimes a product does that you'll put it on and you're like, mmm. But then like after it sets on your skin, it just very nice finish. Oh wow, I really enjoy that. I'll have to see if it stays this nice all day long. I didn't put any primer or anything on. I really wanted to just test the product on its own because it it's very promising with its 24 hour label on there. So we're gonna really see. But it's it's very very nice finish on the skin. I'm really I'm really happy with that. So hey guys, so it is about 10:45 at night, and I've had this makeup on since this morning. This is the L'Oreal Infallible, and I I have to say it's it's still going pretty strong. I've taken off the red lipstick since then, obviously, because I've had lunch and dinner since I did the video, but yeah, I've, I've even done a little bit of a workout in this makeup and everything, and it's, it held up nicely. I'm, I'm very pleased. It's definitely, obviously, no one's going to wear a foundation for 24 hours because that's just not good hygiene at the end of the day, but it's, it's been a while since I put it on in the morning, and like I said, it's 1045 right now, and it, it looks pretty darn good for 1045. And I have absolutely no primer on whatsoever. The blush faded a little, as did my bronzer, but the foundation and the coverage is definitely still there. So that's really good. So at least I know that it's definitely a foundation that I can count on for a full day. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.